द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टॉक्स अबाउट कंसिडर एन एरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन विच इज थ्री सेवन इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड एरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन वे फर्स्ट टर्म इज थ्री कॉमन डिफरेंस इज फोर एंड लेट ए एन डिनोट द सम ऑफ द फर्स्ट एन टर्म्स इन सर्ट ऑफ एस एन दे आर यूजिंग ए एन दैट्स ओके रेगुलर टर्म्स देन द वैल्यू ऑफ वन अपॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव समेशन ए एन फॉर एन इज वन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव नॉट दिस इज वेर द क्वेश्चन गॉट डिफिकल्ट फर्स्ट लेट एस फाइन द फंक्शन फॉर ए एन एस एन का फॉर्मुला इज एन अपॉन टू ब्रैकेट टू ए प्लस एन माइनस वन इन टू डी राइट आई एम नॉट फाइंडिंग ए ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकॉज दैट्स नॉट वॉट दे वास्ट मी आई एम जस्ट फाइंडिंग ए एन सो एन अपॉन टू टू ए वुड बी सिक्स प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटू फोर सो दैट्स एन अपॉन टू इंटू फोर एन माइनस फोर प्लस सिक्स सो इट विल बी फोर एन प्लस टू यू कैन टेक टू कॉमन एंड द टू विल कट आउट सो इट बी एन इंटू टू एन प्लस वन so you are left with n into 2n plus 1 which if you simplify further one step it's 2n square plus n we want summation of this for 21st 25 terms you need to know your summation properties for n is equal to 1 to 25 for 2n square plus n now this is where i thought the question was difficult because summation of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 25 so we need the formula For square, the summation is n into n plus one into two n plus one upon six plus summation for only n that is uh, first twenty five terms will be n into n plus one upon two. Now put n as twenty five and remember there is also one upon twenty five outside so let's use that also. So one upon twenty five into this. So we are left with one upon twenty five. This two will cut here. This will become three. 25 into 26 into 51 upon 3 plus 25 into 26 upon 2. This 3 cuts here 17 times, 2 cuts here 13 times. 25 will cut out both the times, so 25 common and it will cut out same thing. So we are left with 26 into 17 plus 13. So let's multiply 17 six a 102 10 carry 17 to 34 plus 10 is 44 442 plus 13 is 455 which is the third option. So that was one approach to do this question. I'm sure lot of students don't remember this. They haven't practiced this enough. So this is one approach to do the sum. Let me try and explain one more approach to do this question. Not that the other approach really makes the sum very easy, but still. Some little bit other method can be used. So the series was three, seven, eleven, dash, dash, dash. So what was the summation series? The series which we are actually looking for the sum whose. So we are looking at one upon twenty-five of three plus ten. The second term is three plus seven ten. The third term is ten plus twenty uh, eleven twenty-one. The next term would have been fifteen, right? So the next term would be thirty-six in this series, and so on, so on. Twenty-five such terms, and we need their sum. Now let's try and break this series up. We have done this. I have explained this in a lot of places earlier also. So let's just try and get this three, ten, twenty-one, thirty-six. This is a second-order series, where obviously the difference is seven, eleven, fifteen, and so on, and the difference is four, four. Because this difference is four, or what we got earlier, our summation was two n square plus n, from wh whichever place, either from this four or from two n square plus n, you need to figure out a method for this series. So, for example, you can write three as two into zero square plus three. Pay attention carefully. Two into zero square plus three. The next one can be written as two into one square plus eight. The third term can be written as two into two square plus that will be eight plus thirteen. And if you notice what is happening, this three eight thirteen is becoming a AP. Zero one two is becoming a AP. The next term, just to check further for thirty six, it can be written as two into three square plus eighteen. Yes, it is still working and so on. So this one upon twenty five remains as it is. We've got a two into zero square plus one square up till twenty four square. Right, two into one because first term is zero square, so twenty-five terms. The last term will be twenty-four square. 
plus the next series will be 3 plus 8 plus 13 dash 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 up to 25 terms. Right now, this part should be pretty straightforward 1 upon 25, 2 into n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. So, n is 24 into n plus 1 is 25 into 2n plus 1 is 49 upon 6 plus this is a regular summation term. So, it will be regular summation will be n upon 2 that will be 25 upon 2 into 2a will be 6 plus n minus 1 will be 24 into d will be 5. Let us try and solve this. 25 will cut in both the places over here also this 25 will cut and here also it will cut because the 25 was outside common. 6 4s are 24. So, we are left with 8 into 49. This is 120 plus 6, 126 divided by 2. 126 divided by 2 is 63. So, we have got a 49 8s are plus 63. What will be 49 8s are? That will be 400 minus 8. 392 plus 63, which comes out to be 455. Whichever way you use, answer is 455. But whichever way you have done this question, I think the question was difficult. I would again put this as a category C.